You already know from the title of this video, and you already know if you follow me over on Instagram, but I wanted to sit down and share with my subscribers here on YouTube the big news. We are officially pregnant with baby number two. We were so excited, and it feels so good to be able to sit down and share with you guys and just talk a little bit about what's been going on. If you are brand new to my channel, hi, my name is Michelle. I am a mother and I have a daughter who is almost two years old. She'll be two years old in September. And through her whole pregnancy and everything and really her early years of her life, I share just kind of being a mother and what that looked like here on YouTube. And I also share lifestyle content and all kinds of things basically just about my life. So. For those who do follow me, you are well aware of that whole journey um, of being pregnant and being a new mom, and we're going to start a brand new adventure of having two kids, being a family of four, um, and what that looks like. So she'll be about like two and a half when I have this baby. I am starting to get out of breath, so I'm gonna go over kind of like how I've been feeling, just like update you guys about the news, but no, that I am starting to get like that out of breath pregnancy zone. I'm in that zone, so bear with me. I wrote down just a few things um, because pregnancy brain is also enhanced by mom brain. It's just like, whew, it's a lot right now. Let's first talk about this baby, how I'm feeling, everything like that. So first of all, I am due in January. And we're going to have a, a winter baby. I'm going to be very pregnant for Christmas, <laughs> um, which is going to be cozy and fun too. But yes, I'm due in January, um, probably mid-January. I was induced for my first baby. And they say often if you're induced for the first one, you are for the second. But I don't know. We will see. That's a long time from now. I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. I am 16 weeks pregnant when I am filming this. We announced, I think, on Instagram and like to everybody, our friends and everything, when I was 13 weeks. So I am out of that first trimester. I'm into my second trimester and I'm starting to feel myself again. So they will have, I think, a pretty good age gap. That's like what I wanted. I wanted them to be close enough together where they grew up together really closely um but not so close that it was really like a strain on us i basically just wanted to feel ready i wanted to feel ready and comfortable to have another kid um there are a lot of emotions <laughs> that go into that your mom i'm sure you can relate i did research because i was like am i crazy i just was nervous i think for time taken away from my first baby and just you know the dynamic of your family changing and also like I love my daughter so much and I thought how can I possibly love this strongly for anything else but after that first week after kind of like going through those emotions and everything and I'm still a little nervous you know it comes and goes um, but I talked to a few people they said it's completely normal and it just works itself out your love just grows all that stuff but of course there's still a little nerves but anyway, after that first week, I really just started thinking like, okay, I'm also though giving Rosemary such a gift of a sibling and of a friend and they're going to be close in age and I really thought about that a lot and this is what I want. You know, I always wanted a bigger family, definitely two kids. So those nerves, I think, will just kind of like fade away more and more and I think they're very normal. If you have any advice, of course, about going like from one to two, I know I've heard some people say that zero to one is definitely harder, but other people say one to two is harder. In general, overall, how I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot better right now than I did my first trimester. My first trimester was very much like with my first, my daughter, um, I was just so exhausted and the exhaustion felt way worse this time I'm thinking because I have a toddler now and she's teething she's getting her two-year molars and she has a sleep regression or something's going on with her sleep so um, there's just a lot of adjustments with her without even being pregnant 
She's also at such a fun age. She's so fun. Uh, it takes a lot of energy, like it does, um, but I love it. I love chasing after her and interacting with her and just, she notices everything, like everything that you don't notice anymore as an adult, she just finds so fascinating and she's just a ball of fun and joy, but it's also tiring. And so being pregnant on top of that, I think has just enhanced that first trimester exhaustion. I didn't get sick. I got a little queasy for a few weeks, but really the symptoms were the exact same um, for both pregnancies. My cravings are a little different, but other than that, like it's been kind of smooth sailing and I still am grateful because even though I was so tired, um, I still have like a little bit of that here and there, but compared to what I hear from other women and their pregnancies, I still think like, thankfully I have a pretty smooth pregnancy so far. Um, with Rosemary, my pregnancy was really smooth too, so here's hoping and praying that it continues that way. I'm really grateful for that. The only thing like I honestly have to complain about is that exhaustion that just really beat me up. And then the only other difference I would say so far is I don't have quite as much time to just think about being pregnant and like soak it in. And it's more like my body is on autopilot and it's kind of a good thing like it's it's just doing what it needs to do I'm taking care of it I'm eating well like all those things but it's on autopilot I haven't really had those major symptoms yet except for that exhaustion um, so I'm just living my life but at the same time like how amazing is your body that it is growing a human inside of you all while you are just living your life doing all these things it's just, it's a phenomenal thing. It's like the whole pregnancy and birth experience is so fascinating to me. It's so empowering. I, I love it. Like women are just amazing, amazing, amazing creatures. It's something so wonderful to be a woman to have like this body that is able to do this. So you give birth, you feel so empowered and then it kind of fades. Like <laughs> once you're like in postpartum and then you're busy with the newborn, you kind of sometimes forget that high you had. And now that I'm pregnant again, I'm like, wow. Like I remember all this from the first time. I remember being so amazed that my body is doing this and it's going to give birth and it's, you know, growing human. It's just amazing thing. So that is something too to consider, like just to appreciate the whole process. I really actually enjoy being pregnant. I know some women don't. It's kind of like, I think a love hate, like you either really, really like it or you just are absolutely hate it. You're just getting through it just to grow your family and have a beautiful baby, but you're not into the whole process. And I really liked it. Maybe that's because it was, I feel like a pretty smooth pregnancy. Um, maybe if I was like bedridden, you know, I wouldn't be saying the same thing probably um, if I had issues or something like that. So I am very blessed and lucky. We do not know the gender yet. We are waiting until the 20 week scan. I honestly would love to be surprised. I really would um, because we have like all the little newborn clothes, zero to three are gender neutral from Rosemary's. Um, when we had her just because like I bought those before I knew because I was so excited you know I went out and like bought clothes so I got them all gender neutral and I also did that so if we had a boy next we could use them it kind of faded after that because at that point then I had a girl and I wanted to buy her dresses and you know all that kind of stuff but anyway I would love to just be surprised um I don't think my husband is into that idea as I am he likes to know names and all of that, I need to look back at our list. I don't know if like those names are gonna be ones that we want to use again. I'm sure some of them will be. Um, I think we'll probably do a video again of like baby names because that was a really fun video. Everyone really liked it. Um, so we'll probably, yeah, sit down and do that again, my husband and I, and revisit our list and then like come up with new names too. So that's really a wrap up of what I've been up to, um, this announcement. I just want to hop on and share it with you all. And I know I did it on Instagram, but I wanted to sit down and do it just for like my YouTube subscribers. A lot of you have been here from way, way, way in the beginning and 
yeah, I just wanted to sit down and chat and tell you the news. I'm planning, hopefully, on creating some content. I've been really, like I said, exhausted and tired, so, you know, I'm busy with our land and everything, so I haven't been vlogging as much. And as you guys know, YouTube has also been frustrating me, but when I hop on and do this, like, I love it so much. I love it, love it, love it. Um, it's when I take all that time, upload it, and then I'm like, where are my people at? <laughs> where are the views anymore? They're all on stinking Instagram and TikTok, but I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try to hopefully keep vlogging. Um, you guys motivate me to when you comment and share and all that stuff like that really motivates me to keep filming and to keep showing up and I love this so much. It is definitely my number one choice of content um, to share and to put out there um, and to create. It's a very good creative outlet for me too. But when you're a busy, busy mom and a teacher, school starting soon, um, you can only do so much, right? So you have to divide your time to where it's worth it. If you guys comment and share and all that fun stuff and YouTube <laughs> puts out my videos, um, then maybe, you know, like I will be more motivated. Thank you all for watching this video. If you stumbled upon my channel from this video, definitely subscribe. If you like motherhood, lifestyle content, pregnancy content, all of that, because we're going to be sharing this journey with y'all once again. So subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.